This is Book Talk with Corbin. I'm your host. I got to uh, read parts of this article to you. I got to urge you, please get a hold of this article, read it, share it. The name of the article is The Stakes Are Far Too High to Stay Silent. The Stakes Are Far Too High to Stay Silent. Is written by a ma- uh, gentleman named James, and last name is spelled E S S E S. Very important article. It's written back in July 23, July 23, 2020. But again, let me just read uh, parts of the article here. He's talking about how he was a university professor. Then he received a termination of contract. And of course, he was just absolutely devastated by that. And he immediately started asking himself, why? You know, why was I basically fired here? Okay. So uh, he is a trained psychotherapist. And let me. Uh, Read this one uh, paragraph. Okay. The truth is that this happened to me because I hold and express so-called gender-critical views. For instance, I believe that all available evidence indicates that biological sex is binary and immutable and that children should not be taught otherwise. I also believe that children expressing confusion about their gender should not be immediately affirmed down a potentially irreversible pathway of medical transition and lifelong medical dependency. Folks, let me repeat that because I want somebody to hear this and then say to themselves and say to me and say to other people, oh, what that that person just said, James, last name spelled E-S-S-E-S, a trained uh, psychotherapist, what he just said, uh, it's, it's just absolutely horrible, and it's not backed up by evidence, and that um, it just shows that he's just a person filled with hate. I, I, I'm going to reread this to you. You let me. You tell me if you can reach that conclusion. Here it is again. The truth is that this happened to me. He's getting fired because I hold and express so-called gender critical views. For instance, I believe that all available evidence indicates that biological sex is binary, and immutable, and that children should not be taught otherwise. I also believe that children expressing confusion about their gender should not be immediately affirmed down a potentially irreversible pathway of medical transition and lifelong medical dependency, end of quote. I'm sorry, sounds like common sense to me. Folks, get a hold of this article. The stakes are far too high to stay silent. Get a hold of this article. Read it. Share it with other people. It's very important. Because you know, there are people out there. They're in the public school system, in the medical field, who are just, it's just horrible some of the things they're doing to our children. And we're sitting back and letting it happen. And we can't do that anymore. We can't do that anymore. Like he said, the stakes are far too high to stay silent. Folks, this is Book Talk with Corbin. I'm your host. We have more coming up later.